Hello everyone and welcome to this week video. I hope everything is great with you and let's dig in. What I want to show you this week is how to set up your uh, your Facebook pixel into your Shopify store. Um, Shopify release this new uh, feature that you have in your admin uh, a few weeks ago. So I just want to show you how to um, how to do it. So first thing what you need to do is to make sure you don't already have a, a, a pixel code inside your uh, your store inside your uh, templates. So in, in in this store that I have here, I know I don't have it, but in this one, let me just show you. Go to your sales channel. Go to online store go inside themes click on the three dots edit HTML CSS and if you go in your layout theme that liquid inside just click inside do command F or control F to do a search and just search for Facebook um, that's not what I want go up okay see here Facebook pixel code so inside here in this specific store I do have it so if it is your case just uh, you'll need to delete delete this whole uh, script from uh, from your store and then uh, save it I'm not going to do it on this one so let's go back to my store that I know for sure it doesn't have it okay so on this website I know for a fact that I don't have the Facebook pixel on it um, so right now what you have to do is go get the Facebook pixel ID uh, so two scenarios first you already created an ad and you already have a, a pixel um, created or maybe you use the old Facebook pixel um, either way so if you do already have the um, a Facebook pixel in your account just go and log in to your Facebook account go in manage ads or ad manager um, select the one if you have multiple accounts that's another thing but select your main account your main ad manager um, go over here and look for all tools in assets go in pixels oh by the way per account per Facebook account you can only have one pixel active um, which is not good uh, in my opinion but uh, if you do need to have multiple pixels uh, because you're tracking multiple websites unfortunately you will have to create a brand new Facebook account to be able to have multiple pixels uh, I hope they will change that soon but um, so here we are so this right here is the new Facebook pixel uh, you still have the old uh, conversion tracking pixel that's the old one I recommend you to use the new one because this the tracking will uh, fade out uh, somewhere in 2016 so it's it's, it's happening soon um, the ID of the pixel should be this one right here but just to make sure let's take a look at the code so click on actions and view pixel code and you have here your ID which is exactly the same as what we have over here so you can select this command uh, C or control C I'm just copying it or you can do a right click I'm done with this go back to your store paste it save Um, pum, 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 pum. okay so 
Facebook pixel should be there. Um, let's go on our front end and see if we can double check it. If it was there, if it's if it is there, uh, let's right click view page source and scroll down. Or we can do a search also. Pum 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 pum. Let's do a search for Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have it here. Uh, storefront, Facebook pixel, and it's the ID that I want. So that's it. Facebook pixel is installed on your uh, on your website. You will be able to uh, to track it and use it in uh, in your Facebook ads. You will be able to uh, to create audience with that. Um, you will be able to track uh, what's happening on on your website with that Facebook pixel, which uh, we will see in 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 a future video. Right now, uh, just want to make sure that everybody has their Facebook pixel uh, installed. Let's uh, see for a second part if it is a brand new, if it is a brand new uh, Facebook account that you have. How to to create the the pixel? So here I'm creating a new uh, business manager account on Facebook to manage my ads. So let me try to add a new account. Okay, so um, right now we're in the business manager. Um, see if you can find in all tools, uh, create and manage if you can find ads manager. And this is only if you have multiple accounts. If you need to manage multiple accounts or multiple pixels, uh, this is the way to do it. So sorry before I said it's not possible to do it. I just find a way how to do it. And this is the first time I'm doing it. So follow with me here. If you don't find it in uh, in your all tools here, um, you can always go to business, business manager settings. Uh, this is me should be your account going ads account you will have the account you just created if you click on it you will find here view ad account and ads manager so click on that it will open the ads manager that we uh, we played with before uh, but obviously this one is it's, it's empty has nothing It's just uh, just a test that I'm doing here um, so we want to create a pixel just go again in the tools go in assets and pixels you will notice this time uh, again make sure you are in the new facebook pixel and uh, you will notice that we have the option to create a new pixel so let's click on this let's give it whatever name create pixel web so this is uh so it's created now um we have the id right here same thing you copy it and then you just paste it in uh into your uh, into your admin admin panel if you need to change it you can always change it over here uh, but normally you're just gonna do it once so that's it for today. If you have any comments or questions, please use the comments below. Also in the description, you have my information like Instagram, Twitter, uh, Skype, my email, um, my LinkedIn, where you can reach me if you have any questions. As usual, please subscribe. I'm releasing videos like this one each week. I will do some more videos on the Facebook pixel maybe uh, talk a little bit about conversion, how to track it, how to build an audience. So stay tuned in uh, the following weeks. Also right now I have a, a, a free CSS class that you can subscribe to it 
and I'll show you how to modify the look of your store uh, and you can do it all by yourself and again it's free and if you do need my help also to give you my opinion and do a full analyze of your store I am available for that there's a small charge take a look on my website that's it for today thank you and have a good day